So I do have to say that this is, of course, an ad because I was, I'm part of the EA Creator Network and so on. So just the other day on the 25th, so two days ago, the Sims team posted this. Jo tune in Thursday, June 27th at 10 a.m. Pacific time or 6 p.m. UK time with this YouTube link and this little seven second teaser. If we play the seven second teaser and I'll, I'll let it loop. So there you go. That was the teaser. Okay. Set the mood June 27th. Keep in mind that it al already been leaked that the pack was called Love Struck Pack. And there's going to be a lot of romance theme stuff in this pack, okay? But we had already known that it, the Love Struck Pack was going to be called Love Struck Pack and a, a load of details about it. So tonight, the Love Struck Expansion Pack official reveal trailer dropped. And I have not watched this yet, so we're going to watch it together now. And we're going to get my first reaction to this. So it is... Still rated teen, but from what I understand, there is a lot of juiciness in this, okay? Now, I'm going to turn this way down because the music here in the background is going to most likely be copyrighted. It usually is. So, here we go. So, this is going to be the new world. We've got some... Not really tall buildings in the background, but it looks like three, four, five, six, seven, like eight story buildings, like apartment blocks or something in the background, and some small three or four story buildings, a gorgeous park area here. I'm loving this, and this little archway there, really nice. Two Sims, kissing. Ooh. Definitely kissing. Oh, I love this fountain. Oh, that is gorgeous. With benches to sit on and cuddling. Well, cuddling's already in the game, but still. We've got a busker. That's nothing new. But the background is we've got all of these posters and new graffiti. That looks like a jaguar. I love it. Oh my god, him. Loads of new clothing, of course. That's a, an article of new clothing. We've got new clothing in the background. We've got bunting. We've got loads of stuff here. New plants. Oh my god, what was that? No, 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 no. Oh dear lord. First of all, I have to ask, who does the, the Mo Farah sign with, with their middle fingers? Who does it like that? That hurts my hands. It's not done like this. Or like, oh god, this hurts my fingers even more. It's not done like that. It's done, it's done like, hold on, I can't do it now. I can't do it now. It's done like that. <laughs> anyway, sorry. <laughs> Who does that ever at all? Deadpool. Deadpool does it. Deadpool does this. <laughs> oh, 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 he, she does not like the flirting. But I like the stars hanging in the background. Oh, the poor guy. The poor guy. And then we've got this romance ruined wall in the background with chalk drawings, you know, graffiti on it. I love this. This is beautiful. And Sims 4 Love Struck Expansion Pack. We've got a new bar, it looks like. Very flirty bar. Oh no, is he going to hit up everyone? Also, I like the necklace. Oh, the poor guy. Oh, oh, hello. Cupid's Corner dating app. So you got the bio, you got matches, and okay, this is interesting. So we're going to have a new dating app in The Sims, Vanilla Game. There is a mod out there by Little Miss Sam called the Simda dating app, which I love. And it allows you to go on, like, blind dates with people. And it usually ends up in absolute chaos. Every time I've used it, it's, it's ended in absolute hilarity. And I'm, I'm all for it. I'm really hoping that this Cupid's Corner dating app that they're putting into to the game with this pack is as good, if not better, than the Simda dating app. Fingers crossed it is. 
So loads of matches. Oh, and you can swipe left or click the love heart at the bottom to say that you want to go on a date with them or save them. Okay, I like that. Flowers. <gasps> wait, wait, wait. No freaking way. One of the lots is on top of a building? As in, like, we're gonna be able to build, like, a penthouse on top of one of the buildings? Okay, I like that. Because right now, we can't do that. The closest that we can get are apartments in city living. And you can only change the interior. You can't build a whole thing like this. This is awesome. I like it. Oh, oh. New woohoo closet. <laughs> Chocolate strawberries. Very romantic. Stopping again because I just love how the wallpaper matches his, his shirt. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Masks. Oh no. They should add loot llamas to The Sims. Open one, you have a 1% chance to get a million simoleons. <laughs> I would much rather them add loot llamas to The Sims than add the daily reward system that they currently have. So right now they've got this daily reward system where you log in and you get a thing, okay? But I like the idea of a loot llama where you log into the game and you play the game and there's a chance for a loot llama to spawn near your played sims lot or in their neighborhood and you have to chase down the loot llama and destroy it <laughs> to get the item. That would be so much fun. I like that idea a lot more than the sims daily reward system. Okay, let's see. What do we got? Oh my goodness. What? Role play costumes. Including... Peach. What in the actual what? <laughs> oh my god, what the I know that's meant to be an eggplant. And we all know what eggplants stand for. But but the shape of the eggplant is is a bit too close to home here. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh jeez. Okay. Uh, continuing on. Cupid. We've got a heart bed. It isn't a heart-shaped bed like what was in the Sims, uh, earlier Sims, but it is a heart-shaped headboard at the very least. In bed cuddling! So we do not have in-bed cuddling right now in The Sims 4. This, this is awesome. Stargazing while sitting instead of laying down. Yes, please. You never know what's going to happen with The Sims, y you know? Also, I used to have a butterfly clip like that when I was a teenager. Another woohoo spot. Okay. A picnic blanket or ground blanket that you can roll up in like a burrito to woohoo. Oh my god, that is that is way too hilarious. Oh, she's heartbroken. Uh-oh, she died from heartbreak. Hold up, did he seriously? Wait, wait. Grim, Lothar, he did. Don Lothario seriously went rawr at Grim. <laughs> okay, so it's being released on July 25th. So if you purchase by September 5th, you can get the Heartbreak Happens digital content. Crimea River Eyeliner, Herbert Heart Plushie, and the Basic Breakup Double Bed. I love that there's, like, stuff underneath it. That's awesome. Yeah, as part of EA Supportive Creator Program, you can use my affiliate code, Muir Dragon. You don't get a discount or anything for using my code, but what happens is I get 5% of whatever you spend. It's a great way to help support myself and the channel. And of course, you can pre-order over on the EA app or EA.com. I like the idea that they're bringing back vanilla woohooing with Grimm. 
I'm telling you right now, with that little teaser of Don Lothario going rawr at Grimm, they had better make it so that you can develop a, a romantic relationship with Grimm again. Because they took that out of the game ages ago. You can still woohoo Grimm and get married to Grimm through mods, but you can't do it vanilla anymore. And I'm really, really hoping that they put it back in, in this pack, because that would be so freaking awesome. We're getting two new beds, a new closet where that you can woohoo in, the blanket. Seriously awesome. Sims fans have been asking them to make, begging basically, for them to make The Sims or a little bit more risque, like what was, you know, like Sims 1 and 2. Sims 1 and 2 was so risque and just wow. The things that you could do in The Sims 1 and 2 that you can't do in The Sims 4. And we have been at begging the Sims team, please, you know, make it, make it more risque. Just remember that the vast majority of people that play The Sims 4 also played The Sims 1 and 2. And so we're, we're all like old. <laughs> A huge number of Sims players are 25 and above, you know? I have already had a baby via, well, my Sims, that is, not myself personally. But my Sims have already woohooed Father Christmas and the Flower Bunny. <laughs> I need the Grim Reaper to make it that trifecta, you know? <laughs> I just do. Can, can we just say real quick how it is so cool that we've got so much LGBT representation? So this guy is pansexual. There's what looks like either, I'm guessing, a non-binary sim or possibly trans mask sim there. We've got a gay couple there. There's, there's just loads of LGBT representation in this trailer and I absolutely love it and there's a lot of items in here that I'm just I'm not even gonna mention right now music box there the plants looks like a new fireplace there's just so much to to look at in this uh it's yeah I cannot wait until July seriously I am so looking forward to this pack it says here meet new sims in Ciudad Inamorada which is the new world or the new dating app, Cupid's Corner. Plan hot dates to multiple locations and discover Sims turn-ons and offs with The Sims 4. So that's pretty cool. So if we take a look real quick at The Sims 4 website, just to see what we've got here. It's time to open your heart to romance in the beautiful world of Ciudad in the Morada. Go on swoon-worthy dates in the neighborhood. Your Sims will be able to hunt for the best spot to try the romantic blanket in the city's gardens. Dance until morning at their favorite nightclub, or even experience the beautiful simplicity of sitting together to watch the stars. In the Sims 4 Love Struck expansion pack, players can create their Sims dating profile on the Cupid's Corner app and match with other Sims. Players will determine how to navigate the dating scene, find out what other Sims turn ons and turn offs are, then cater to them, learn how to become a romance consultant, so there's, there's going to be a new career, and so much more. It's time to meet your match and experience romance like never before. Bienvenido a Ciudad Enamorada. Sul sul mi amor. Welcome to Ciudad Enamorada, a gorgeous city in love and the perfect place for all your romantic encounters. Lovestruck feelings overflow into three lush neighborhoods that exude charm and romance to make every intimate encounter unforgettable. In a world designed to dial up the heat, Sims can meet and flirt with other Sims in Vista Hermosa, a central neighborhood with greenery and walking areas, Plaza Mariposa, a residential suburban neighborhood, and Nuevo Car Carazon, an uptown neighborhood with a small high-rise area, with penthouse suite and upscale venues. Your Sims can take in the picturesque wall of love and steal kisses, strolling through the charming park with a little botanical garden-style cafe and bar, dancing the night away in the nightclub Mirador del Amor, and exploring open street areas surrounded by flora and fauna. You might have your room renting a room at Beso Rapido to get some much-needed sleep or take their steamy date for a little tryst. If your Sims decide to take their romance back home, they will return to their penthouse-style apartment, connected by streets filled with romantic stops. From parks where blankets can be set for picnics to food stalls perfect for late-night snacks, Sims can declare their love at any number of places in Ciudad Enamorada, 
each with its own unique charm and beauty. As Sims explore these neighborhoods designed with love, they will discover a new singles hangout lot trait that will attract available Sims who are single and ready to mingle. Ciudad Enamorada, that's City of Love, has the perfect spots for all types of meetups, dates, misconnections, and more. It's easy for your Sim to meet singles that match their style at the dive bar, Laguna del Abrazo, Romantic Park, Mirador del Amor, or even during a sweaty workout session at the gym, Sudor. Struggling to find a partner? Open the Cupid's Corner app to find your perfect match. With the Cupid's Corner app, Sims will find a variety of matches that will make their heart flutter. With the new date planning system, players will choose where to go and what to do, crafting a unique date that will leave your Sim wanting more. When using Cupid's Corner, Sims can snap a selfie and create a profile by setting preferences to find Sims who are romantically available. Potential partners will show up in the Matches tab. Your Sim can hit the heart to add their sa faves to saves. Once saved, Sims can add their love interest to their contacts and start up a conversation. Whether meeting for the first time or setting up a sweet anniversary date, matching and dating in all its forms is now supported with custom Ask to Create a Date features that make for ideal date scenarios. These features allow players to customize their date by picking a date type, picking a venue, optionally inviting more sims, and selecting the activities and goals for the date. Oh, so dates have always come with goals and things to do, but we can now select which ones we want, which is awesome. Once on a date, sims can connect through playing games, chatting on a picnic blanket, sharing food, cuddling in heart-shaped beds, or by stargazing up at the night sky. To add a little spice to the mix, new romantic interactions include a new kiss, a sultry dance, and three new woohoo spots. Romance dynamics will develop between sims as a reflection of the type of romantic relationship they have together. There are four different dynamics, wholesome, steamy, strained, and unpredictable. Wholesome refers to two sims who genuinely love each other and show it through their actions, both friendly and romantic. Steamy dynamics refers to sims' relationships being focused on physical intimacy. Strained refers to two sims that are still romantically entwined, but are generally unhappy with each other and treat each other unkindly. Unpredictable refers to sims that go back and forth between fighters and lovers. They may fight one second but kiss and make up the next. Sims will develop and grow their romance skill, romance skill as they continue to socialize unlocking new interactions like a steamy makeout session or neck kiss Ooh, neck kiss has already been in the sims but only teenagers were able to do it so now it looks like any sim can do it teenager on up so that's cool they'll even learn how to emotionally connect with a partner or scan the room for potential sims open to romance <gasps> that's what the slice of life mod currently does they have taken that from the slice of life mod all about attraction and compatibility. Okay, it's also that, that bear rug there. Hmm. Attraction represents how romantically matched or mismatched two sims are. Sims will have turn-ons and turn-offs, personality and behavior elements that either raise or lower a sim's attraction to another sim that will define what they are or are not attracted to. This includes other sims' traits, and clothing and hairstyles, and even certain interactions. Some sims may be turned on by a sweet gift, other sims might be turned off by gardening or fishing. Turn-ons, offs, and romance satisfaction will shape how your sims build and maintain their relationships over time. Romantic satisfaction bridges between the new attraction system and the existing romantic relationship level in the base game. This represents the individual sim's feelings about how well or poorly their overall romance is going with another sim. Positive romantic interactions improve it and vice versa. Interactions between sims give the players tools to understand what turns each sim on and off. Oh, this is so in-depth. I'm loving this. This is important to intelligent decision-making that will keep both sims happy in their romantic relationship. Seriously, this is awesome. For any sim with romantic aspirations, romance is a way of life. With a paragon partner and a romantic explorer aspirations, sims will have many paths to discovering love and connection. So we're getting two new aspirations as well. Awesome. Romance isn't just an aspiration. With two new traits, sim and two new traits, okay, sims will have more ways to define who they are and how they love. Romantically reserved sims will need just a bit more time to get to know their partners. It may take longer to find romantic connections, but the foundations will be worth it. For sims that are love bugs, romance is everything. They long for love and dive in headfirst. Love may come on quickly, leading to much faster romantic relationships, and as a result, they may be met with unrequited love should their romantic advances fail. 
Love isn't just butterflies and rainbows. There will be two new added fears. Fear of intimacy and fear of being alone. Ooh. Sims will have new questions to ask and interactions to help assuage these fears with their partners. There's even the option to attend counseling. Wow. Seriously. Awesome. And yes, your Sims can become romance consultants and make a career out of literally loving love. As they progress in their career, they will earn new ways to promote love. For a job well done, they may find some cute heart-shaped rewards in their inventories. Aw, oh, nice. Free for All Players is the new romantic boundaries system that will allow you to customize your Sims' experience with boundaries and jealousies. You can now define how your Sims approach romantic relationships in terms of physical and emotional romantic exclusivity. Oh, <gasps> This allows for Sims to date multiple Sims without impact to other relationships. They're putting poly relationships into the Sims officially. Seriously awesome. If you purchase the Love Struck expansion pack anytime from now to September 5th, you'll have access to the Heartbreak Happens digital content to embrace a little heartache with the Crimey A River eyeliner, the new Herbert Heart plushie, that comes in three swatches, gray, blue, and yellow. And start your single life with a basic breakup double bed. That is seriously awesome. I am for this pack. I really am. They're adding so much to it. Seriously excited. Going to the community. What's the community say? This is killing me. This bit. <laughs> And the Sims replied, they've got some moves. Seems like the music is by Sophie Tucker. Even hotter than the heat wave, says Create for Sims Alexandra. Curved pools. Someone's noticed that. Of course, someone noticed the iconic heart bed. Not the role play clothes. Oh my God. Heart shaped beds and a dating app. This is great. When can we have spiral staircases? Heart bed, heart bed, heart bed. We're so ready. Are we getting a functional motel? An incendiary summer with this expansion. Yep, I agree. This looks pretty good. Y'all are nasty, says Daniel. <laughs> Polly Sims. Thinking back to the time I got excited over egg chairs. <laughs> egg chair. I absolutely see no reason why this couldn't be a game pack. Rudy, if you're watching this, we're getting a dating app. We're getting three woohoo spots, two new aspirations, new traits, polyamorous sins, and a new world, and more. What more do you want in an expansion pack? <laughs> Let me get this straight. We got paid DLC about love and weddings. We got paid DLC about relationships in general. And now we get yet another paid DLC about these same things that should have been included in the past DLCs. They do have a point, but this, this is a huge pack. We're getting absolute loads in this pack. So while they have a point at the same time, I can understand why they put this in a standalone pack. Because, I mean, new world, new traits, new aspirations, new career. Yeah, there's lots of stuff in this pack. The blanket animation be like... <laughs> that is very true. I love it. Y'all didn't add an eggplant costume. I'm dead. <laughs> The fact they can die from heartbreak, yes, yes. Kato says it's obvious with all these wings and butterflies now. It started with growing together that there's always at least one object that has that. When are fairies finally coming? This is a good point. There's loads of butterfly stuff here. I mean, look, butterfly there, butterfly earrings, butterfly hair clip, <laughs> wings. I do agree. All these wing teases. The city is set in Mexico, by the way, in a Mexican-inspired world, which is cool. A few official screen grabs here that the Sims team have given me to share with you all. We got this one here that is, you know, from the trailer of them feeding chocolate-covered strawberries to each other. And I mean, that box is just super cute, isn't it? We've got this one of Don Lothario kissing Nina Caliente and breaking someone's heart. And that penguin, <laughs> that penguin neon sign there is adorable as well. They also gave me this pack front image, which I think is pretty cool. And we got, hold on, we got this gif. 
<laughs> and hold on. We got another GIF. We got this GIF as well. <laughs> Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Okay. That, that's enough of that. But that, that, my friends, is was The Sims 4. I am so excited about The Sims 4 pack. I don't know about you all, but I, for one, am super duper excited about this upcoming pack. I really, really am. I can't wait for it. All of the stuff that they've put in is just awesome.